Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am very excited to be reviewing some self-tanning products, actually. I... So this is coming from someone who is a total noob at self-tanning. Um, I really don't have a lot of experience with self-tanners. Aside from back in high school, I think I used like the Jergens lotion to try to get all pretty and tan, and I ended up looking like a really just orange, splotchy disaster. So aside from that, um, I pretty much have very little experience using self-tanners, um, but a couple months ago this brand, EcoTan, actually emailed me and asked if I would like to try out some of their products, and nine times out of ten when I get those kinds of emails from companies, I just don't respond, either because they're a brand that doesn't sound reputable to me, um, usually it's because the brand isn't Logical Harmony certified, but I did look up this brand and I was really happy to see that they are Logical Harmony certified. So um, with that in mind and reading more about the brand, it seemed like a really cool company that I actually was interested in trying. So um, they sent me a couple of their products and I've been testing them out over the past month or so. So the products that I'm testing out or that I have been testing out are the Cacao Tanning Mousse, which is called their One Hour Self Tan. Um, and the face tan water, which is just what it sounds like. It's a water that you use to add a little bit of a tan to your face. So I'm going to just be giving kind of like a normal person's review of these because I, like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with self-tanning. Um, so far I've actually been really, really pleased with my experience. I find them to be pretty user-friendly. I haven't had any like bad tanning accidents where I looked really orange or streaky or anything. I've done, I think, about four... Uh, three or four tans with the tanning mousse. And so I feel like I've got a pretty solid opinion. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out and this time I'm happy, I think I'm the happiest this time. Um, and you can tell I am wearing it now. It's a pretty subtle tan at least the way that I've been wearing it. So let's just get into some of the details. First let's just talk a little bit about the brand. So this is actually an Australian company but they do ship internationally. Um, they have, let's see, on the website, there's the option for Australia, USA, UK, and Europe, Canada, New Zealand, and then also the rest of the world. And even for, like, shipping to the U.S. at least, it says that you can get free shipping when you spend over um, $65. So it seems to me that the shipping situation is pretty good. You don't have to spend, like, an arm and a leg on shipping. So it's actually a really cool story behind this brand. It was started by um, a woman whose sister was diagnosed with skin cancer and she wanted to create a line of self-tanning products that would be safe for people to use um, so they, they wouldn't be doing damage to their skin in the sun, um, which I think is probably why a lot of us like to use self-tanning products because as most of us know by now that um, either tanning in tanning beds or tanning out in the sun is not the best for your skin and it definitely can cause uh, skin cancer later on. And also just other things like premature aging, wrinkles, sunspots, things like that that none of us really want to deal with. On top of that, the brand is completely certified organic, toxic free, cruelty free, and vegan. And it's all um, Australian made. So I really like the message behind this company. I love that they're cruelty free and vegan. I love that they're Logical Harmony certified. Um, that's usually my number one criteria for the brands that I choose to support. So I was very happy to see that. Um, so let's get into the actual review of the products. So the tanning mousse is designed to be a one hour self tan. Um, you can leave it on for one to four hours depending on how dark you want to get. I've done both. I think I've left it on for like one to two hours and I've also, I've even left it on longer than four hours and nothing bad happened so I think it's okay to do that. But typically I think four hours is pretty much like as dark as you're going to get. So I think I prefer to leave it on for four hours just because I want like a pretty solid tan. And you can see, and I do have before and after pictures, you can see that it's not like a crazy dark tan, at least not the way I've been using it. I think that I probably could apply even more of the product and do like a thicker layer of it and then I probably would get even darker. With the tanning mousse, I actually have applied it just with my hands and I don't, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I The reason I was applying with my hands is because I didn't have a mitt at the time. And it worked just fine, but I definitely it definitely stained my hands even though I washed them immediately after. So I actually did just purchase this mitt off of Amazon. I actually bought this because 
Um, my friend here on YouTube, Jay Holmey, recommended it. By the way, she actually did a whole video on like her self-tanning routine. Definitely recommend you watch that too because she has a lot of great information in that video. Oh. And she actually also mentioned some eco-tan products in that video. So um, this is the tanning mitt that I got from her recommendation. It's from the brand Thermo Labs. It's a little bit more sturdy, I think, than some of those other tanning mitts that you sometimes get like for free with tanning products. And so I got a much more even tan when I used this, and I didn't have to worry about it staining my hand. So I would definitely recommend using some sort of a mitt. And that also came with, um, these aren't like related to eco tan at all, but it also came with this little like finger mitt that you can use to get your hands and your feet in like, like more detailed areas. So that's really helpful too. I definitely highly recommend some form of a mitt with these. So the directions say to exfoliate 24 to 48 hours prior to application, um, apply liberally and evenly to clean dry skin, wash hands thoroughly after application. You can wash off after one hour for a light coffee complexion and leave for up to four hours for a deep bronze tan. Um, so usually what I do is I apply it right after I've showered and exfoliated and like shaved my legs and done all that stuff. I apply it right after that and then after like the four hour mark or however long I leave it on, I just rinse it off. I don't like take a full blown shower with like soap and I don't like scrub my skin. I just rinse it off with water in the shower really quickly. And I feel like that way it lasts longer and it just kind of rinses off the product but the tan actually will keep developing after that. So that's pretty cool. The tanning mousse retails for $39.95 on its own. Um, and you can also get a set of the mousse or whatever like tanning product that you choose. I think you can either get this or they also have like an invisible tan which is more of like a gradual tanning lotion. And it also comes with the face tan water and um, this tan remover glove is what they call it. It's just like an exfoliating glove that you can either use to exfoliate before you tan or when you want to remove the tan. So um, that little set of three things retails for $59.90. So I think it's a little bit of a better deal than um, buying everything individually. Yeah, the face tan water um, also retails for $34.95. So it's definitely a better deal to get them together if you're wanting to go that route. The things that I'm always skeptical of with any like self-tanning products is A, I don't want to look orange, and B, I want it to look even and natural and not streaky or blotchy or anything. And the thing that I really like about this tanning mousse is that I think it gives me a really natural looking tan. I don't think I look orange at all, um, and I think I'm a little bit washed out with the camera, but you'll see in the before and after, it looks very natural. It almost is a little bit more red toned than orange toned, if that makes sense. And so it looks more like a natural tan as opposed to an artificial orangey one. So that's the thing that I really like the most about it, is it just looks natural. And as it fades, it doesn't fade off looking blotchy. And I think that exfoliating beforehand really helps. But it really does fade just very evenly. So I'm really impressed by that. That's always been the thing, like, when I've thought about using self-tanning products, I've been like, like, those are the two things that I have wanted to avoid. So... That's just been working really well for me. I'm very pleasantly surprised and impressed um, that it doesn't look crazy or anything. And then the face tan water. This is, um, it says it has hyaluronic acid, orange peel, and rose geranium, um, only organic and natural ingredients. I kind of use this almost as if it were like a face toner. Um, I just apply it with a cotton round, um, just all over the face and down the neck a little bit to just like blend it in. I've also just applied it like with my fingers, but it is a straight up water, so I feel like the cotton round works just a little bit better. And it just kind of gradually adds like a bronzy look to your face, which is nice because when you're using like a body product like this, it really helps to like match your face to your body. And I think their big like selling point for this is that um, you don't have to wear makeup necessarily when you have the self tanner on your body you can match your face to the rest of your body and you don't have to wear like a foundation just to even out your face with everything else, if that makes sense. So that's really nice. Personally, I wear makeup almost every day just because I like it. Um, but on days that I don't want to wear makeup, it's really nice to have this. And the other thing about it is that there's something about just that like little slightly bronze 
tan look that just kind of makes your skin tone just overall more even, which I really like too. Um, if you have like more pale skin, um, I personally have a lot of acne scarring on my face, just like red marks, just uneven complexion, a lot of us have that. And it just kind of evens it out a little bit. It doesn't make your skin look perfect or anything, but it definitely just evens it out. So I really enjoyed this too, and um, it actually comes in a nice glass bottle, which feels really luxurious. And I feel like this is probably going to last a really long time, just because it's a pretty big... It's 3.38 um, fluid ounces, but you only need a little bit at a time. So that's been pretty cool too. Um, to be honest, I haven't used it like religiously. Um, I've only kind of used it like right after I tanned my body. But I have noticed a definite difference, and I wouldn't use this every day, I would probably use it every every other day, maybe every three days, because it doesn't fade away as soon as you um, wash your face like that night. It kind of lasts for a while, surprisingly, So, because I would think that it would fade like almost immediately. But anyway, so I think that's just about everything I wanted to say to kind of review these products. Honestly, I really like them. I don't have anything negative to say, really. The only thing is that here in the U.S. you can't find these in stores, so you do have to order them online. Um, they also make quite a few other products for tanning. They make a spray tan solution. Um, they also make like something called their winter skin and the invisible tan. I think those are more like gradual, um, like more lotion type tanners. And they also make skincare and body care. They have a deodorant, um, body wash, and also like facial skin care like face masks and exfoliators and stuff like that. So this brand, I definitely want to try more from the brand just because I'm curious about them. And it's not really something you hear about a lot, at least not here in the States. I'm sure it's probably more well known in Australia, obviously. But as for this tanning remover glove, it is, they say you can use it wet or dry. Um, it is a bit rough, honestly, so I prefer to use it wet. But it does a good job exfoliating. Um, I really just prefer to exfoliate like with my loofah in the shower before I do the, the tanning mousse. So that's just about everything I wanted to say about these products. I've really been enjoying them. Um, surprisingly, I honestly didn't know if I would because I'm just, I've never really been that into self-tanning, but I think that, I don't know, it's been kind of fun to experiment with it. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it kind of give you an idea of whether or not you might want to try these products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys next time.